If you've been watching videos on my channel for any amount of time, you know that I always say back up your site before you update your plugins, your themes, or your WordPress core, because if something goes wrong, you can revert to a backup. The latest version of WordPress is no exception to that rule. In the comments below my most recent video and on the Facebook group and on forums on the internet, many people are saying that the WordPress update either broke their site or broke a specific part of their site and they can't get it back. They can't fix it because there's some kind of conflict and they can't figure it out and they don't have a backup. So they can't revert back to something stable, something that works. And to make matters worse is the latest version of WooCommerce is also breaking sites. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the two skills you need to have before you update anything on your website. I don't care if you just started learning WordPress this week or if you've been doing WordPress for decades, you need to do these two things before you make any updates just to be safe. I'm gonna show you what they are in this video. I'm gonna show you how to do them and how to do them for free. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started on this one. I'm gonna get right to the punchline. The two skills you need to know are backing up your site and restoring it, and using staging sites to test updates before you put them on your live site. This is important whether you're doing sites on your own, just for yourself, or for clients. If your sites break, it's more of a headache. If a client's sites break, that's money. That's money that you're getting paid by them that you might not be paid anymore if you lost their site. And so it's important to know these skills. And the plugin that I use currently, my favorite one, is called WP Vivid. This is their website right here. It is free and pro. We are going to use the pro version. And before I get antsy, because I said it was free, what happens when you get the free account, you get all the pro add-ons. When your free trial account expires after 14 days, you still have the pro add-ons. You just don't get updates to those pro add-ons in the future. And so you could technically come back and just make a new trial account in the future and get the latest versions. I don't recommend you do that because it's a great plugin. If you do get value from it, I recommend you buy one of these options and there's a discount down below. There's a discount for the lifetime options and a discount for the yearly options. So you can choose your discount, get one of these, or just use the free trial the way I just explained and make this happen, learn this skill. So first let's go back in our dashboard and go to plugins and add new. We have to first install WP Vivid the free version is in the WordPress repository. It's right here. Click on install now. And here's kind of a catch 22. I said you should always back up your site before you do updates. You should also do backups before you install plugins. But this is the plugin that does the backups. So you kind of have to install that one first and take it on faith that it'll work. Then once you have the plugin installed that does backups, then you can do the backups. As you can see up here, WordPress 5.5 is available. Please update now. This is the one that's been breaking some things of late, so we're not gonna update this until we have our backups in place, and we're gonna update on our staging site first. So now that we have the free plugin installed, I'm gonna download the paid one. So you sign up for a free trial, go through the link down below to make sure you lock in those discounts, go to account, and go to downloads, download the pro version for the backup and the staging plugin. Go back into our site, go to plugins and add new, Upload a plugin, choose a file, find the two files we just downloaded. We'll find them one at a time. Let's do the pro one first. Let's activate that and let's add a new one again. And this will be the staging site plugin. WP Vivid staging, install now, activate. And now we have everything we need installed and activated. We just need to connect our backup plugin the premium one to our site. So I'm going to enter my email address and my password, click on activate. And those credentials are the same as you use for creating your free account over on WP Vivid. And now we're active. Everything should be working. So the very first thing I'm going to show you is how to do a backup and then how to restore the backup. So to do a backup, we go to backup migration under the WP Vivid backup menus. And we come down here, we save to localhost or to remote storage. You pick the one you want. Best is to remote storage because that saves it off site. So if you click OK, if you click that option, it takes you to remote storage options, which are on this tab here. Set up one of these. I'm going to set up Google Drive because that's what I have. 
in here, I'm just going to type in Google Drive. This is just for your reference, this one. This is the directory that will be used to create the backup. And so if you have multiple sites, they'd all be backed up into this directory. And then this is the subdirectory that will be inside this directory. This one is for this specific site. I'm going to choose set this as default remote storage. Click on authenticate with Google Drive. Have to log into your Google Drive account. Authentication will work the same way for any of these other options. And now we are authenticated and ready to rock and roll. So let's choose remote storage. I'm going to choose database and files. I'm not going to add a comment. You can choose to have this backup only be deleted manually. If you check this box, what that means is if you do schedule backups on this tab, which we'll get to in a minute, this allows you to save a certain number of backups in the past. So say, say you backup every day and you want to save the last 14 backups. Every day when the new backup occurs, the oldest one is deleted. And so you only have a rolling 14 days, the rolling previous 14 days of backups. If you do a backup by checking this box, this one cannot be auto deleted. This will not be deleted until you delete it manually. So check that box if you want to, I usually don't. Click on backup now. Now the backup process is gonna run, this little bar is gonna go across the screen here. It'll take longer if your site's bigger. If your site's smaller, it'll go pretty quick. I'm just gonna pause this video as this runs and come back when the backup is complete. Backup is complete, it says right here succeeded at this date and this time. And, and that's that. We can now use this to restore our site. First, I wanna show you two other things though. Here, it says local storage directory. And you might be wondering why in remote storage we set up a directory there and why we also have a directory locally. The reason is when you back up to remote, the backup is first made on your server where your website lives. And this is the directory that backup goes into. Once that backup is completed on the local server, it then uploads it to the remote storage and then it comes back and deletes whatever was on the local server. So that's why we have this directory here. One last thing, you might encounter an error and it's got to do with calculating the file size, I believe it is. And there'll be an error message here, backup couldn't be completed because calculating the file size timed out. When that happens, it tells you where to go to fix it. I'm just going to show you that as well. You go to settings and you uncheck this box right here. Calculate the size of files, folder and database before backing up. Uncheck that, go to the bottom, save it, and your backup should work just fine. Now that we have this backup, we can restore it in the backups and restore tab. Before we do that, let's delete some things. So let's go to posts and let's delete all of these. And let's go over to the trash and empty trash. Let's go to the plugins. We have 28 plugins on this site. So let's delete a bunch of them. Let's not delete the backup plugins. Delete the inactive ones because that's just faster. All right, let's delete all those. Click on apply, delete. Now we're down to 19 plugins. Now let's go back to our backup plugin, the Vivid backup migration, backups and restore. Now I'm going to click on restore right here. So before I do that, let's go back to the point of this video. You have a backup, you have updates available for WordPress 5.5. You have plugin updates available. We have seven available here. Maybe there's theme updates available. So you create this backup before you update. Then you make the updates to the theme, plugin, core files. And if something goes wrong, you then come back here and click restore. And this restore will take you back to what the backup was, to what the situation was before you updated things. So let's click on restore. And when I do this, I keep all of these checked. I also check this box. This is only recommended when you're restoring the entire site, which we're doing in this case. If you were just to restore the plugins, you could just uncheck these and keep just plugins checked and keep this one unchecked. But we are making backups in case something goes wrong on the site and we don't know what goes wrong on the site usually when, when things happen. So we wanna make sure you restore the entire site. So I'm gonna check all these, check this box, click on restore, click on okay, this shows our restore progress down here. We just let that run. And then once it's done, it'll tell us that it's done. I'll just pause the video while it does this. And we're all done. Here it says restore completed successfully. Let's click on okay. And now let's go to our posts. And all our posts are back. Plugins, we should have 28 plugins. So we have 28 plugins are back. 
and and that's that. That's how you back up and restore. Make sure you do that and take it one step further because when we do updates, we know we're doing updates. And so we back up before we update things. But what if something goes wrong and we don't know about it? Like someone hacks your site or a plugin's auto updated and that breaks your site. For that, you wanna have scheduled backups in place. You wanna make sure you set up scheduled backups. So this is really easy to do. You pick a schedule start time you can have it be any of these options. The option I recommend is based on how often you change your site, as in probably how often you add content. So if you add content every day, you wanna back up daily. If you add content every week, that means your site's only changing once a week, and so you can back up weekly. If you publish content weekly on Tuesdays, you might wanna do the backup on Wednesday. Or if it's always at the same time on Tuesday, you can say Tuesday at 7 p.m. because you know you publish your content at 4 p.m. and so it gives you three hours time for it to publish because a funny thing happens on WordPress is a cron job. If you have a scheduled post that publishes, it does not publish until the cron job runs, which does not run until someone visits your site. So this is giving it some time for someone to visit your site and publish the content. That is never a problem on sites with lots of traffic, but if your site's brand new, you might wanna give a bit of a time buffer. And then we choose to back up database and files. We send them to our remote storage and we click on create new schedule. And now our schedule is created, that backup will be completed on that schedule. So make sure you set up schedule backups. The next thing is staging. WP Vivid staging is down here. This used to be included in the main plugin. I have a tutorial linked to in the card up above and the description down below where I go through all the settings available in WP Vivid, which I'm not gonna do in this video, but watch that video if you wanna see all the settings. And in that one, staging is still inside the main plugin as well. Now they've broken it out into its own plugin, but it still works the same way. On the staging area, first thing we wanna do is click a staging site. And this is gonna be the name of the folder. This will be a folder inside your WordPress hosting account. This will be the table that all the data goes into in the database. You can usually keep these as they are. And this is more information about what URLs are gonna be created, where everything's going. Here we choose the database for staging site. Share the same database with your live site recommended, install a staging site on another database. So what this would do is you create a whole new database for your staging site. That is extra secure, but it's also overkill because all the data will go into this table. If we choose the first option, that's usually good enough, but you can have your own separate database just for staging. We can also choose to install a staging site in the root directory, which is the main directory of the WordPress site, or inside the WP content directory. Either one of those work, choose which one works best for you. And here, it is gonna auto select all of these options. And you can also add additional files and folders if you have more to your site than just the regular WordPress stuff. This is not commonly the case. So I'm just gonna leave that unchecked. I'm gonna click on create now, click on okay. Now the staging site is gonna be created. I'm gonna pause the video again while it does this and we'll get a notification saying it's done in just a second. Now our staging site is done. That took about two minutes. It'll take longer if your site's bigger, but either way when it's done, you'll see something like this. This is the URL of the staging site, and this is the admin URL of the staging site. So I'm gonna click on this. It's gonna open our staging site URL. I'm gonna log in. This is the same thing you would do. You log into your staging site. At the very top, you'll see this bar is bright orange. That's how you know it's the staging site. That's the only difference between the two, is just that this bar is orange. On the main site, it's the regular black. Now that we're in the staging site, we can update stuff. That's the whole point of this exercise, is we can now safely update things in here. It will not affect our main site. If you have clients and you maintain the websites, this is the most stress-free way I've found to update things. And if in the process of updating, something breaks, the main site doesn't break. And we can tell the client, listen, I updated to the latest stuff, something broke. I don't know what it is yet, I have to look into it further, or we're gonna wait a few weeks until patches are released, whatever the case may be, at least you haven't broken the main site, which is fantastic. So I'm gonna click on, and I'm gonna go ahead and update everything. Let's update to WordPress 5.5 first. Here it says, because we have WP Vivid Pro installed, it's going to back up the files that we update before we update them. I don't really care about that on the staging site, so I'm gonna uncheck this box. So it does not do the, the, the backup before it updates. I'm gonna click on update now to install WordPress 5.5. And I will pause this video as it does that. There we go, WordPress is updated to 5.5. We see all the information here. 
You can check out the video in the card up above in the description down below where I go over some of the changes in 5.5 if you want to see what they are. And we've updated on our staging site. Nothing has happened on the main site. If we go back to our main site, it still says update now. Let's refresh. It still says update now. So the update hasn't happened on the main site. So that's great. Let's go back into here, update our plugins. Let's choose all the ones that update available, select all of them, update. This is WP Vivid Pro at work. This is one of the reasons I like this plugin because it backs up stuff before you update. Even if you don't think about backing up, it'll back things up. And if you go through the link in the description down below, like I said, you can get those discounts I've listed and it's also an affiliate link. So if you end up buying through there, I do get a small commission. It does not make it more expensive for you, but it helps me keep making these great videos for you. So if you do want to check out WP Vivid, even the free version, please go through the link down below. It really helps. So I'm going to pause this video while this backup and these updates are made and I'll be right back. And we're back. All the updates are done. And now what you do is you go to your site. Let's go to visit site and we make sure everything still works as it should. If everything works on the staging site, as it should, then it's likely it'll work on the live site as well. If something is broken here, then you don't go to your live site and update things and you've saved yourself a lot of headache or you've saved a lot of pain with your clients. If everything works out just fine on the, the staging site, what you can do is you can copy the staging site to live by clicking this button or you can just do all those same updates manually on the live site. It's up to you, whichever works for you. Another way staging sites are used is to redesign a website. And if you do that, you're going to want to click copy the staging site to live because copying all those redesigns over to your main site could be a lot of work where you could just be clicking a button. Even when you click the button to copy it over, I'd still make a backup first. I make a lot of backups and those backups have saved me a lot of pain over the years. That's why I keep stressing it. Every single video I make where there's some kind of update or change being done, I say back it up because I know firsthand the pain that is caused when you don't have backups and just the sense of relief that you have when you do have backups. And as I mentioned throughout this video, you can do all of this with the free trial version of WP Vivid. Let's go back to the pricing just to make sure you understand what I'm talking about here. Over here, we have a $0 14 day free trial. You get the full pro version for the free trial. And once the free trial ends, you still have the full pro version. You just don't get updates to it. So you can use it for free in perpetuity forever, but eventually there's probably going to be conflicts or something with other plugins that would require an update. And at that point, you might want to do a free trial again and get the latest versions of the plugin, or you might want to upgrade using the discounts in the description down below this video. Either way, make sure you use my link down below. It is an affiliate link. Like I said, it does not cost you more to use it, but the small commission I get does help me keep making these videos. And I use this plugin on every single one of my websites. I have backups scheduled, I do backups before I update stuff, and I use staging when I do redesigns. And it also integrates with MainWP, which I have a video for up here and in the description down below. And with MainWP, I can manage loads and loads of websites, my own and client websites. And this makes it really easy, especially with being able to back up all the sites right from one dashboard. I can click backup all, it'll back up all the websites that are in my main WP. This just makes my life super simple. And next up, check out this video right here where I explain why it is almost impossible to prevent hacks 100% of the time. This is another reason you need to have a solid backup plan in place because if your site gets hacked, I hope it doesn't, but if it does, you have a backup to restore to. It's super powerful. It, it makes you sleep way better at night having scheduled backups. So make sure you schedule backups and make sure you check out this video so you understand the threat to your website. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.